Hi friends, today's story is Pirates Don't Change Diapers. Pirates don't change diapers, they don't even change socks. I know, because I used to be a pirate, but that's another story. Today, while I was wondering what to buy my mother for her birthday with the 27 cents in my pocket, mom came into the room. Jeremy Jacob, she said, I have to go get some milk. Your dad's taking a nap, so try not to bother him. As she went out the door, she called. If your sister wakes up, try to keep her happy. I'll be back soon. Oh, great, I thought. Keeping that baby happy is never easy. Mom had hardly been gone a minute when I heard a knock on the door. I peeped through the peephole. There were some old friends on the front porch. Ahoy there, Jeremy Jacob. Are we ever glad to see you, said Captain Braidbeard. We've run into a boatload of trouble. Our ship ran aground on a coral reef. The bow broke open and our figurehead's nose tore right off. I had it carved special to look just like me blessed mother too. Aye, his mother, the crew chorused. It'll have to be replaced and that'll cost us a pretty penny, Braidbeard said. We'd be needing the treasure we buried in your backyard. Treasure, the pirates repeated. With all that yelling, my baby sister woke up. It's a miracle my dad didn't wake up too. Arg! hollered Braidbeard. What are we, what be that caterwauling? That's Bonnie and I said, and I'm supposed to keep her quiet. You'll have to help me babysit. Babysit? Braidbeard scratched his head. Pirates don't sit on babies. No sitting on babies, hollered the crew. But there was no way. We'd be digging up the treasure, I told them, until Bonnie Ann was happy again. That's how the pirates became babysitters. Bonnie Ann always has her diaper changed after a nap, but the pirates needed a lot of practice. Things got really interesting when we ran out of diapers. Then it was Bonnie Ann's lunchtime, and when she gets hungry, everybody knows it. Braidbeard sniffed the baby food. Shiver me timbers, he yelled. What are we this vile smell and swill? Strange spinach, I told him. Strange spinach, Braidbeard said. A violet rat wouldn't eat the stuff. Then Bonnie Ann sneezed. I got out of the way just in time. Arg! Strange spinach, wailed the pirates. When Bonnie Ann was finally changed and fed, we thought we'd be able to get outside to dig. But every time we tried to sneak away, the baby got fussy again. She does that a lot. Now, what does that wee mutiner want? Braidbeard demanded. Maybe you should rock her, I said. I then bellowed Braidbeard. Rock on, me hearties. Rock on, cheered the crew. Not that kind of rock, I groaned. Use the rocking chair. When rocking didn't work, we tried pirate peekaboo. We danced a pirate jig. We sang sea chanties. Look, I whispered. She's falling asleep again. Quick, let's dig up the treasure now. Time to dig, laddies, commanded Braidbeard. Shh, I said. Not so loud. Not so loud, roared the pirates. Bonnie Ann caterwauled until we found the only person who could keep her quiet. Quicker than you can say scurvy dog, we headed out the door to get the treasure. The map, said Braidbeard. Hand over the map. The map? Everybody emptied their pockets. No luck. The wee lass, she must have it, Braidbeard hollered, and we all ran for the house. But the map wasn't there. Neither was Bonnie Ann. The map, cried Braidbeard. The treasure, boomed the crew. The baby, I yelled louder than anyone. After all, she is my sister, and I was getting really worried. We searched all over the house, then ran back outside. We stopped so fast we were almost pirate pancakes. There was Bonnie Ann. 
and she had the map. Avast, yelled Braidbeard. The wee lass has eaten it. Now we'll never be able to fix the ship. We're marooned! Marooned, moaned the others. Maybe not, I said. Thanks to my little sister, I think I know exactly where to dig. With all of us digging, we found the treasure in no time. Braidbeard opened the chest and grinned. Choose your reward, Jeremy Jacob. You've owned your fair share. It didn't take me long to decide. Green is my mom's favorite color. If you need a babysitter again, matey, Braidbeard said, you know how to find us. Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder the pole. Up yonder pole, I shouted. As the pirates headed back to their ship, Bonnie Ian and I ran straight for the house. We had a birthday present to wrap. All right. Thanks for listening, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.